green sphere so this lecture is uh, a few problems uh, green theorem and the surface integral so let us recall what is green theorem so uh, green theorem is uh, simply integral over c f of x y dx plus g of x y dy where c is a simple closed curve simple closed curve so it must be closed and its orientation must be positive so for example if it is a uh, triangle or a circle or an ellipse all are uh, simple closed curve so this is equal to double integral over r dou g by dou x minus dou f by dou y t <coughs> so that is we can actually we can find uh, line integral by using double integral so that is the advantage of Green's theorem so it's very difficult to find a parameterization of some curve and doing uh, integration uh, by using Green's theorem we can easily find a, a line integral by using double integral and there is one more application let us recall that application we can also find area of a region by using Green's theorem so what is that formula anybody remember that formula area is equal to 1 by 2 into integral over c integral minus y dx minus y dx plus x dy x dy so this is the formula for finding uh, area of a region okay so let us do a problem so the first problem is uh, uh, ktu 2020 ktu september 2020 problem using green's theorem evaluate integral over c y square minus 7 y dx plus 2xy plus x 2x dy where c is a circle x square plus y square is equal to 1 ok now now first uh, we will do solution so we can uh, find by using green zero so first we have to write what is green zero given Green's theorem integral over c f of x y dx plus c of x y dy equal to double integral over r dou g by dou x minus dou f by dou y dx. So now uh, now this is uh, actually this is a circle so this is a simple closed curve therefore uh, what we will do is first we will find what is f of x y here anybody f of x y is y square minus 7 y minus 7 y and g of x y is uh, this 2xy plus 2x. So first we will find dou g by dou x and dou f by dou y. So what is dou f by dou y? Two y minus seven. Two y minus seven. Two y minus Okay. What is dou g by dou x? Y plus two. Y plus two. Okay. Now, uh, now we will uh, find uh, integral. So, 
by Green's theorem. Integral over C y square minus 7y dx plus 2xy plus 2x dy is equal to double integral over r dou g by dou x that is 2y plus 2 minus dou f by dou y 2y minus 7 dx so this is equal to double integral over r uy and 2y get cancelled 2 minus minus 7 so that is 9 t so this is equal to 9 is constant double integral over r d so what is r what is the region of integration here x square x no. this circle right okay. we doesn't want to uh, find parametric form okay. so this uh, region is actually x square plus x square plus y square is equal to 1 it's the circle right Okay, so, so the region is a circle, unit circle. This is one with radius uh, one. Okay, now tell me what is this double integral over R is a circle. What is actually double integral over R dA? What is the meaning of double integral over R dA? Anybody? E. Pi R square. Okay, pi R square. That means area, right? Area of R. So here area is uh, uh, pi r square what is r radius one. In one so this is 9 pi into 1 square so the answer is 9 pi okay so that's comparatively easier question that means uh, uh, we have directly we have to use Green's theorem directly. So now I think okay. Now I think uh, the second question we have done in one class. Use Green's theorem to find the area uh, enclosed by the ellipse. So this I already done in, in one class, previous class. So that is also September 2020 question. Now another question is uh, uh, evaluate. So we can do this problem. Evaluate using Green's theorem in the plane integral over c x square dx minus x y dy where c is the boundary of the square formed by x equal to 0, y equal to 0, x equal to a, y equal to a. So this is a square, right? So if you have a square, uh, square, then this is a closed curve. So we can use Green's theorem. So we will do the solution. Of, uh, the third question, it is 24th question in 2020 September. So first we will write what is Green's theorem. We have Green's theorem C is 
integral of c f of x y dx plus g of x y dy is equal to double integral over r dou g by dou x minus dou f by dou y dx. Now here from here what is uh, f of x y what is f of x y x square x square g of x y uh, x y uh, uh, no? minus x y minus x y so we should be careful that uh, it's minus x y now we will find dou f by dou y. What is dou f by dou y? There is no y term, so we are differentiating zero. Zero. with zero, right? So what is dou g by dou x? Minus y, right? Y. So now we will integrate integral over c x square dx minus x y dy is equal to equal to double integral over r to g by dou x that is minus y minus dou f by dou x zero D. So this is equal to double integral over r minus y d. Now, uh, what is our region of integration? Let us check what is our region of integration. Region of integration is square formed by x equal to 0 y equal to 0, x equal to a, y equal to a. So first we will draw the region of integration. So, so the region of integration is x equal to 0, y equal to 0, x equal to a, y equal to a. This is 0 x equal to a y equal to a so this is the square this is region of integration now tell me what are the limit limits of r zero to a, to a. To a and y similarly zero to a so this is equal to integral 0 to a, 0 to a, minus y, dy, dx, or dx, dy, you can do. So integral 0 to a, minus y, uh, dy, uh, that is minus, uh, if you uh, integrate y with respect to y, y square by 2, 0 to a, dx, is equal to integral, 0 to a minus a square by 2 dx. So this is actually minus a square by 2. You can take outside dx x 0 to a. So you will get minus a cube by 2. So this is the answer minus a cube by 2. Have you got it? So it's easy, right? Green's theorem is comparatively easier uh, part. So any doubt in Green's theorem? So I will share these questions uh, in your WhatsApp. We we'll just work it out uh, 24th or 4th question also. So anybody have any doubt? Is it clear? So next, uh, let us recall what is surface integral. Okay. So uh, I am only uh, in the formula. So if 
z equal to g of x y that means z is a function of g of x y then what is integral over double integral over sigma uh, f of x y z ds what is the formula anybody tell me the formula surface integral formula this is double integral over r f of z, f of x y z ds so f of x y and we know that z is a function of c of x y and what is here it's a ds right so it's a square root of dou z by dou x all square plus dou z by dou y all square plus 1 t. Okay. So have you remember this formula? Do you remember this formula? Yes. Sir. Okay. So similarly, if what will happen if uh, our uh, region is of the form x equal to g of y z then the formula is double integral over sigma f of x y z ds if x equal to g of y double integral over r f instead of x we will write g of y z y z root of dou x by dou y all square plus dou x by dou z all square plus 1 t Similarly, we can write if y equal to g of x, similar formula we can write. So, you have to study this formula. Okay. Then, let us do a problem. Surface integral problem. There are three problems in last three examinations. So, first problem is evaluate the surface integral, double integral over sigma x is z square ds where sigma is the portion of the curve z equal to root of x square plus y square between z equal to 1 and z equal to 3. So let us do this problem. So given, given, we have given sigma is of the form z equal to g of x, y, right? right? z equal to g of x y is equal to root of x square plus y square. Now we know we know we, first we will write the formula double integral over sigma f of x y z t s equal to double integral over r f of x y g of x y square root of dou z by dou x all square plus dou z by dou y all square plus 1 t. Okay. 1 t. Now first we will find what is dou z by dou x? Anybody? Dou z by dou x. This is Z, right? Then what is dou Z by dou X? X by root of X square plus Y square. X by root of X square plus Y square. Similarly, dou Z by dou Y is uh, Y by root of X square plus Y square. Now let us uh, substitute this. We have to integrate double integral over sigma z square ds is equal to double integral over r. Instead of z, we can write root of x square plus y square. So z square is x square plus y square. <coughs> 
square root of dou z by dou x x by root of x square plus y square all square plus y by root of x square plus y square all square plus 1 t. So this is double integral over r x square plus y square into what is root of uh, this square root of this can be written as x square by x square plus y square t square it plus y square divided by x square y square plus 1 d. So this is equal to double integral over r x square plus y square. So we have here x square by x square plus y square plus y square by x square plus y square. If you add both, you will get x square plus y square x square plus y square divided by x square plus y square. That is 1 plus 1 e. So this is 2 times double integral over r x square plus y square e. Now, now we will uh, find uh, we have to integrate this. So in order to integrate first we have to find the region of integration. So what is region of integration here? So actually sigma is this portion of the curve this. So something like uh, it's like a cone right x root of x square plus so z must be always positive something like that. and it is cut by the plane z equal to 3 and z equal to 1 so we will get a circle here and their image on the xy plane. So, what will be the image? Z equal to root 3 means root of x square plus y square is equal to 3. So, x square plus y square equal to 3 square. This is x square plus y square is equal to 1 square. So, what will be the region of integration? region of integration r is okay z okay 3 is equal to root of x square plus y square right z equal to 3 means 3 equal to root of x square plus y square. If you square it, you will get 3 square is equal to x square plus y square. A circle with radius 3, right? Alla. The root of x square plus y square and equal to. Sir, I tell you that the last equation is 2 into double integral. That is root 2 into. Ah, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is root 2, right? So, this is r equal to 1. And there is uh, one more circle. r equal to 3, right? So, this is the region of integration. This annular region is the region of integration. Now, how to do this problem? Double integral root to 2 into double integral over r i x square d. So, this is something like a circular region. Then, is it a, a useful? Which format is useful? Either we can use Cartesian form or polar form. Which one is better? When it is a circular region. Circular region and polar form. Okay, polar form. So uh, now limits of R. 
so in polar form we have two parameters r and theta so tell me what is uh, limit of r so if you draw a line from center so it enters through this right r equal to 1 and r equal to so uh, tell me what is the limit One two three. One two three. And uh, theta, we have to complete theta as to a two pi. two pi. So this is root to two pi, double integral over uh, zero to two pi. Uh, one two three. X square plus y square we can return as. What is x square plus y square in terms of this is actually r square. So we can write r square into dA is r dr d theta. So now we can integrate right 0 to 2 pi 1 to 3 r cube dr d theta. This is equal to root to 2 0 to 2 pi. So this is a simple integration. 1 2 3 d theta so root 2 times 0 to 2 pi so 3 raised to 4 what is 3 raised to 4 81 LA. okay 81 yes, sir. divided by 4 minus 1 by 4 so this is equal to uh, root 2 times 0 to 2 pi 81 minus 1 uh, is 80 80 by 4 means uh, 20 right 80 by 4 is 20 so now if you integrate this you will get root 2 into 20 into 2 pi so this is actually 40 root 2 into pi. 40 root 2 into pi. That will be the answer. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So there is a one more question uh, here. You, I will share that question in your WhatsApp group so that you can practice. Now, now we will do one more problem and that is uh, source and sink. Finding source and sink. So this is the question. For, before going to that, what is source and sink? So when we say that uh, a point is a source, if a divergence of F greater than 0 for all that point it is source right for any point x y z if divergence of f is greater than 0 it is source divergence of f, f is strictly less than 0 it is sink and if divergence is equal to 0 that means free of source and sink there is no source and sink so the uh, question is so I will do first problem determine whether uh, the vector field f of x z is free of source sensing if not locate them so the first question is f is equal to y plus z i minus x z j plus x square sin y k. So now what is divergence of f? Tell me. What is divergence? I the coordinate you have to differentiate with respect to x. So y plus z with zero. Zero. Zero, right? So the divergence is 0, then what you can 
tell about uh, so sensing for all points x y z all points x y z are free of source and sink source and sink that means divergence is always zero so all points x y z are free of source and sink similarly you find out this f of x second one is f of x y z is equal to 3 x square i plus 3 y square j plus 2 z cube k sorry 3 not 3 x cube i plus y cube j plus 2 z cube k so what is diver This is 3x square plus 3y square plus 6z square. So which implies you can take 3 outside. x square plus y square plus 2z square. Okay. So when this becomes 0. When is uh, free of source and single? x, y, z in a value would tell it is 0 over div f is equal to 0 if x, y, z equal to 0, 0, 0. Right? x, y and z is 0, 0, 0 then div f is equal to 0. Right? Then Then uh, we say that uh, 0, 0, 0 is a point of uh, free of source and C. Now, for any other values, x square plus y square plus z square is positive. Therefore, for all values except 0, 0, 0 are point of all other value is source. Because all are square term, therefore all are positive. So, so I will share these questions in your WhatsApp group.